animals with and without backbones. Some animals have a backbone while others do not. The backbone is composed of small bones, the vertebrae. The backbone is a part of the body that may be used to classify these animals. Animals with backbone form one group called vertebrates. Those without backbones form another group called invertebrates. Let us talk about vertebrates. They are classified into five groups. These groups are classified according to their similarities in body structure. These five groups are the fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Fishes are animals with backbones. They live in water and take dissolved air and food from their surroundings. They have gills for breathing. The body of a fish is covered with scales. It has fins to help it move and keep its balance. The members of this class reproduce sexually. Their eggs are fertilized and developed outside their body. The young take care of themselves. Next is the amphibians. Amphibians are animals that spend part of their life in water and part of their life on land. As water dwellers, they have gills for breathing. When they grow, the gills are replaced by a pair of lungs. When adults live on land, they breathe through their lungs. They have moist skin that allows exchange of gases. They have strong legs for walking, leaping, and swimming. Amphibians reproduce sexually. Fertilization and development occur outside the body. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. This means that their body temperature changes with the temperature of the surrounding area. Another one is the reptiles. Reptiles are terrestrial animals. They have lungs as the main organ of respiration. They have legs to move on land. They have dry scaly skin. This is useful to reduce the evaporation of water from the body. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals just like the amphibians. These animals reproduce sexually. Fertilization occurs inside a female body, but the fertilized egg develops inside an eggshell. Next is the birds. Birds have structures that enable them to fly. However, not all birds fly. The ostrich is an example of a flightless bird. The lungs are their major organ of respiration. They have a skeleton made up of strong but light bones. They have legs for walking or running. And we have the mammals. The unique characteristics of mammal is the presence of their mammary glands. They bring forth their young alive. They feed them with milk produced by the mammary gland. Mammals reproduce sexually. Fertilization and development of the young happens inside a female parent's body. Again, there are animals with backbones. They are classified as vertebrates. There are five subgroups or classes of vertebrates. Fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. This time, let us talk about animals without backbones. Some animals do not have backbones. These animals are called invertebrates. Their physical appearance and characteristics differ from animals with backbones or vertebrates. Like vertebrates, they can be classified into subgroups. Invertebrates have eight subgroups. The Poriferans, Coelenterates, Platyhelminthes, Annelids, Nematodes, Mollusks, Anthropods, and Echinoderms. Porifera 
The Poriferans are marine animals full of pores or holes. These holes serve as passage for water which carries nutrients and gases. Next is the Coelenterata. The Coelenterates also live in the water. They have soft bodies that enable them to float. Most Coelenterates live near the surface of the water. Number 3. The Platyhelminthes. The Platyhelminthes group is composed of flatworms with flat bodies. Some, like the tapeworms, have segmented bodies. Another one is the Nematoda. This group is composed of worm-like animals. Their bodies are unsegmented. It includes the rootworm and filaria. Number 5 is the Annelida. Annelids have segmented bodies and live mostly on land. The earthworms, which help farmers make the soil fertile, belong to this group. The leech, which sucks blood, is an annelid. Number 6 is the mollusca. The mollusks usually have a shell, either inside or outside their soft bodies. They also have jointed legs, which they use for walking and swimming. Number 7 is the arthropoda. Arthropods are animals having a segmented body. They have jointed legs. Lastly is the echinodermata. The echinoderms are aquatic animals that have spiny skins. They have spines that enable them to move. Most echinoderms are sedentary. This means they do not move from place to place. Again, invertebrates or animals without backbones form several subgroups. These subgroups include Porifera, Coelenterata, Platyhelminthes, Annelida, Nematoda, Mollusca, Arthropoda, and Echinodermata. They have characteristics that make them different from one another.